What's up everybody? Brett here and I'm back today playing some more Battle Brothers. It's our Lone Wolf campaign and we're starting off, if I remember right, it's been a day, but I think there's some like scary, frosty, the snowman type unholds that are right next to us. And I don't know if we really wanted to fight those guys. I'd much rather take on the location and potentially get some kind of rare item. Um, so before we get started, I made a decision. So normally I wait to give myself one of these mastery perks until I have a tier 3 weapon to accompany it. Or I have, let's say, a famed weapon. You know, so that, that makes it easy, right? You pick, let's say I get a famed weapon, I give it to Daniels, and I'm saying, alright, here you go, buddy. It's a famed axe, you take axe mastery. Uh, but what I've decided is to just go ahead and get these masteries right now. And we'll take axe mastery on Daniels. And I'm just going to give him an axe. A tier 2 axe. Might as well be an arming sword. Uh, I think it's cool just to give him the crude axe. We do have a regular hand axe we could give him. Might be a little better. Yeah, let's just give him the regular hand axe. And we'll try and find him a tier 3 axe as soon as possible. And then Blower's here. Also pretty great melee skill. We are going to make him... A Mace Master. Boom. You may be asking yourself why those two types of weapons in particular. Well, um, normally I reserve sword usage and spear usage for brothers who have really low um, melee skill. Like Lothar here. His skill is just low. All of his other stats are excellent. Um, so when the time comes, if let's say I get a fighting spear or a noble sword, these attacks are going to boost his chance to hit. So a plus 10% chance to hit for a sword. I think it's 20 on a spear. So, I take that into account, and when I see numbers like this, 87 melee skill, 86 melee skill, and, and climbing, right? They're going to go probably up to 90, um, certainly. Like, that's enough. Let, <laughs> we, don't, we don't need the bonuses. So, let's just take the harder-hitting weapons and start specializing in that way. Give them those Tier 2 weapons and call it good. Okay. That's enough of that. Small rant. But now we have to actually deal with... These unhold that may decide to chase us. And by may, I mean they absolutely will chase us. No, I didn't get there in time. Oh my god, I clicked on it. Ugh. You know what, let's, for the sake of fun, I don't, I don't always do this. Let's, let's try and pull them into that group. And I'll just quickly, uh, I'll just quickly re-slot. I mean, I didn't, it was mostly me talking just now. Let's, uh... Re-level. He's going to be an axe boy. Give him a hand axe. Okay, now now it is taking a while because my brain... There we go. Okay. And then here we're going to give him the mace. And we want to give somebody else that cleaver too. That was a bit of a an oversight. So the military cleaver is 100% better than a Kopesh. Yeah, seems good. Okay. Now let's see if we can do that little juke move again. And I think I was also repairing this stuff. For the sake of selling later. It's all quite expensive. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see if we can lead the unhold. No! Oh my god. It's not meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Alright, let's just fight them. Whatever. I wanted to lead them into those guys and watch them run havoc and kill a bunch of reavers. I think that would be much more interesting. You don't always get to, to pull units into other units. An open field battle versus these types of unhold is quite scary. Uh, we need to take out their armor. Which is, the I would say, the primary differentiator between them and standard unhold. Is that they even have armor. They also can't be ruined by shield walls. Or spear walls, rather. Does nothing to them. We're landing these shots, though, which I'm quite impressed with. Let's jump in here and use Indomitable and see if they take the bait. And as far as anything else, I'm trying to think of what other differences they might have. I think they probably just have sheer, like, better stats. I would probably put money on that. We should have went, once again, totally forgetting. Should have given heater shields to these guys to help further protect them versus the unholds attacks. We're missing out on an extra five melee defense on either one of them. 
And we didn't do that to do damage to these guys. We used those attacks in order to just get rid of their armor. But those were a very powerful series of attacks. Sucks that we missed there. But if we could take this guy down, that would be awesome. I don't I don't think we can. Okay, we As I learned in the last episode, you can't actually rotate with someone who's stunned. Which is something I kind of just learned. Damn. We can use adrenaline to try and go again first. And we will reload. Alright. Indomitable, we want to hold them back. That's the whole purpose to this. Yeah, perfect. It's taken them all this time and they still aren't in the fight. And we should be able to kill this unhold before he gets a chance to do anything. And then we can turn our focus to a different one. Maybe get some round swings with Ossimandias. We'll have to wait and see. Indomitable is still active. Get the attack. Do the switch. Unfortunately, we don't have enough action points. Come on, don't hit me, bro. Wow. The guy with the shield's the one who got hit. And down goes the first unhold with almost no losses on our part. Beautiful. We'll wait here since we can't attack. Okay, they finally hit him. They hit him twice. I'm willing to wait again. And let's rotate here. An attack. Get some big bleeds on this unhold. That would be pretty huge for us. So now I have a bit of a dilemma. That I think is interesting. The dilemma is... Do I use Indomitable again? Instead of attacking? Or do I go for this big round swing? Which, without a doubt, would do a lot of damage. And I, I'm so tempted. I just want to do the round swing. Let's get rid of all that armor. And now it's just a square fight. Alright, see what we can do. Okay, we hit him in the head and we took the last... ...of his head armor. I'm going to wait here and see how they move. Because we're probably going to get thrown. We got double thrown. Into a punch of the face? No? Okay. We'll wait here. Every time we miss with it, with Damocles, it feels so bad. Alright, and that's kind of why we waited. I had a, a suspicion... ...that more throwings would happen. And we still have a front line here. This kind of hurts more. Gotta take him out before he does too much damage. Don't think there's any way we stun these dudes. I don't think that's uh, even a possibility. Good, strong hits. Alright, that's all the rest of the armor gone. I'm very impressed with our crossbowmen. They're landing almost every shot this battle. Lots of bleed. Perhaps not enough to finish him. Did I switch already? I think I did. Okay. I have to imagine this guy is dead. He's bleeding heavily. Three stacks of bleed. Uh, but their regen is pretty strong as well. Still a 47. I'll take it. Come on. Fade and attack. We did. Excellent. I don't mind a little luck, guys. I'll take that all day long. Can't rotate. Good hit. Staggered. And what I need to do is get around with some of these other guys. Alright, down they go. And we got... So they, they drop a special type of pelt. Uh, that's used in certain things. 
certain crafting with taxidermy. There's a weapon, oh, not, a, not a weapon, a armor augment that you can make. I'm trying to remember what it does off the top of my head. I think it reduces damage. It's a specific damage type. It's been a little while. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Uh, but we'll take a look at it if we get a chance to visit a taxidermist soon. Because we'll have so many unhold crafting materials. We'll wait, because I think we're going to step down with Sir Eastwood here. Yeah, his positioning kind of messing us up a little bit. Get in there. Good hit. We took out the rest of his head armor. Alright, see what he does. Kind of sucks we stepped in basically just to get hit. Get in the middle for better surrounds. Dang, that hurt. Oh, wow. Okay. So for a second there, it looked like we were going to get out of this battle with very little uh, damage to ourselves. But I don't, think that's, I don't think that's the case anymore. So we, we will certainly have to rest. Take this shot. We will certainly have to rest. We cannot go straight into another major confrontation. Sadly. Man, I will jump back in. It makes our attack a little bit worse, but I think we're going to kill this guy. What it does is... What I was hoping it would do would give me a better chance of hitting. Due to a better surround. Jump down here, and now we have a line of sight. Okay, we're out of ammo, so let's just reload. No big deal. Another high damaging attack. And there we go. Another dead unhold. It's crazy that he still wants to fight. Big hit with the cleaver. Damocles got the stagger. That's good. Damn, we kind of wanted that to hit. Get in there. Some of our brothers are a bit hurt. There's no reason to put them in the fight. Alright, wish me luck. Ow. Okay. So I think Osbit's out. He's been snacked on. Yeah, no real good way to get in with our ranged unit, sadly. Get that surround. And we should be able to finish here. One more attack. No? Oh, God. There we go. Alright, well, we took a ton of damage from that. We're going to need to use a lot of medical supplies. I was hoping to get two more giant skulls, that way we could make a, yet another set of bone plating. But three thick white furs is also quite nice. I mean, that's why you go hunting these guys, because they have that rare ingredient. But that is not the fight we were looking for. Damn, we're so hurt. Let's just head to Leaderstead, get paid, and we'll take this time as we walk to kind of heal up. If I remember right, the Temple of the Undying was filled with Necrosavants, which we're much more capable of dealing with now, uh, but it still would probably be an uh, unpleasant fight. See what kind of uh, stuff they have for us here. Of course, we can't recruit anymore. I'd just like to know what's in the pool. So, I would kind of prioritize picking up something like a wing mace. That's a tier 3 mace, and that would be very helpful. On our brother, we just made a mace master. It's an extra 15 damage overall, which is quite a bit. What is the prices? What are the prices like here right now? Very good. So we need to sell everything we can. 
Salt, we bought this for 317 and we're selling it for 442. Selling all that, we'll get rid of that food. Hold on to some of these crafting ingredients for now. Need to hand out these bandages. Get rid of these pikes, don't need these hammers. I'll hold on to an extra bill hook. I like having a change out of shields. Bear with me for a sec, y'all. Okay. I think that's probably enough. And that puts us up to a very healthy 8,258 crowns. You gotta love it. So, I mean, if we wanted to splurge a tiny bit on a wing mace, I don't think you could blame us. Our other mastery was an axe, but there's no fighting axe here. And fighting axes, I, I usually don't buy them because they're very expensive. We could use more food for sure. So let's pick that up. That puts us up to five days. Let's get up to six at least. Let's get all the tools they have. Wow, we need a lot of medical supplies to get back to normal. And let's see what kind of contracts there are. Okay. Escort day to the south. We can use this if we want to leave here. I'll say I need some time to think about it. But my plan for today was to go into the wild north and find the first encounter with the Irajok. You enter Leaderstead and a man immediately approaches. What do you need, buddy? A rare coin collection. Okay. Follow the tracks. Return the rare coin collection. So this is going to be fighting bandits. That's kind of like exactly what I would like to fight right now. It says the Noble War is almost over. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Follow the footprints. During camp, Ossimanius the Lone Wolf comes into your tent and shows off an old wound. He speaks excitedly. Is that a miracle or what? The entry has healed almost completely. You tell the man that he's made of hardier things and the gods had nothing to do with it. He nods. Yeah, I know. But it'd be nice if they were looking out for me, too, just in case. So no longer has a broken nose. So when we get close to the battle, I'll check and see what our status is. Yeah, pretty easy fight. As long as it doesn't give them the super high ground, it gives me the crazy low ground. Man, we're still quite hurt on many brothers. Especially Osbit. And they have Marksmen. I think we could just take the fight. I mean, I could probably just send an Ossimandius. And partly solo these guys with a little backup support from our ranged bros. It gave them some high ground. Oh man, please don't, don't step in front of him. I'd love to snipe out a crossbowman right at the start. Nah. I have no angle. Okay. I do have some high ground here. I can just shoot in and hope to hit. 34s. Yeah, our better chances are up here. Let's see what's up. Maybe get lucky. Oh, you're done for sure. What? Okay, I missed. Put some damage on him. Uh, I don't really want to underestimate... The guys with the hammers, even if they're low-tier hammers, I think that's kind of a bad decision. Everyone else should just probably relax. We'll take that kill just to kind of freak them out, hopefully. Let's just... Get Ossimanius out here. I kind of hope they just step up here thinking they've got the advantage on the high ground with him. Because he is a god amongst men right now. So something I wanted to do today while I was thinking about it, I could talk about it. We had the new, the new info about the new lands. The different types of 
uh, environments they're going to apply to different types of fights. And I kind of wanted to use today as an opportunity. Every time we go into a, a location, not necessarily just a fight in open field, uh, but an actual like location, let's say we had attacked the Barbarian camp, I wanted to try and think of what a what an environment would look like there what they what type of items I don't know what the right like wordage would be but what would they add to it to make it look special and just kind of think about it so for instance like I said we we're about to go into that barbarian camp but like what does that look like when we get in there and how will that change the way we play um, I already enjoy playing uh, choke point battles in the forest I find those to be some of the more uh, my more like memorable defenses some of my more memorable uh, victories have often taken place in the forest in these like choke points so there was like a comment they made in the update that I thought was interesting but it was basically them saying that almost like Battle Brothers wasn't meant to be played that way. And I have to kind of disagree. I don't think it was meant to be played that way all the time. Uh, just as I would imagine in, in warfare, especially medieval warfare, um, you weren't always fighting in an open field shoulder to shoulder with other men. Like that's That doesn't seem probable to me. You know, there'd be times where let's say you were sacking a city and you'd be fighting men in the streets. You'd be fighting them on the walls. You'd be fighting them in the hallways of, you know, whatever defensive structures you'd be fighting through guard houses and and keeps oh that's rough we need to get him back before he gets or he gets got i figured it was time to be aggressive so i just decided to move forward but let's, let's actually be a little less aggressive and get out of there they probably bonk these dudes they're doing a good job of covering their guys though i will say that Lothar should be able to finish him. Good hit. Happy to get that line of sight. Because now we can shoot at him. And I was hoping to be able to step up and reach him. Happy he's running. So yeah, I guess just my broader point is that I think it makes sense that there are often choke points. You know, if you're fighting in a, in a bandit camp, it makes sense that the bandits would try to defend themselves by setting up blocks, right? It said stuff about palisades. It said things about, uh, like, siege walls, which kind of got me excited. But we'll have to see how that's implemented. I could, I don't know what the correct ratio would be, you know what I mean? Like, between... Fighting in close quarters uh, with... Oh my god, he hit me from way back there. Okay. Fighting in like, uh, you know, narrow straights versus open field. I don't know what the correct... Or what they think is the correct ratio. But if I had to guess, if, if it was me, you know, just giving my opinion. I would, I would say like, maybe even 50-50. Because even now, in Battle Brothers, for the most part, if I want, and I have the patience, mostly what I'm lacking now is just the patience, I can dictate where I fight in a battlefield. And most of the time, I'm pretty good at finding the places on the battlefield that give me a terrain advantage. I mean, there's... Oh man, we missed this guy twice. But even in the uh, the maps where it's just like a kind of open field, there's some shrubs, there's some bushes and trees. If you play it right, I mean those little tiny shrubs, you can make hot gates out of them. So I think it's already in the game, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's already there. Um, so to act like it's, it's like not a thing, or that it doesn't fit Battle Brothers, I think is a little silly. I think, and I think it's a positive too. I don't even think it's, I think it's weird to look at it as some sort of negative. But I think it does add a lot of strategic depth. 
We'll just keep them back still, even though there's no real danger. Everyone's routing. All right, and we'll lock, lock him into place. So we took a little more damage this time. Poor Gustav got smacked. Everyone else can kind of chill, I think. Anyway, so we'll run him down. So what I was thinking was that I guess I was hoping that they would see it the other way and that we would get some kind of confirmation of that in some of the the releases, but it seems like they're actually going the other way with it. Um, it feels like their vision for what the game could be is a, or what it is is a little different from mine. I personally see so much potential in Battle Brothers as a medium that it's kind of painful to me that certain types of combat, certain types of weaponry isn't in the game. And I know some of that's just time. We've gotten a lot over the last few years. And I, I guess there's probably some serious constraints in terms of like monetary incentives. Um, Battle Brothers probably isn't like the top grossing game of all time. I told one of my buddies this kind of, this irritated me a, t a tiny bit. I told one of my buddies, I'm like, oh man, uh, my one of my favorite games, Battle Brothers, that does pretty good on my channel, people like to watch. Like, it's getting another update, just kind of out of nowhere, you know, because we didn't really have news of it. And I said, I can't wait, I can't wait, it's gonna, it's gonna be out soon, I'm gonna be able to make a video on it, it's gonna be awesome. And he... He said, yeah, I'm sure hundreds of people are waiting for that for that update. And I was just like, man, you don't even know. Like, you don't even understand how good of a game Battle Brothers is, how good it is, and how awesome it could be. I talk a lot about a few of my ideas. Adding, adding women, I think, would go a long way. Different types. You can go Amazonians, right? Uh, they're introducing the jungle. That was one of my first thoughts when I heard jungle terrain. I was like, what if they blow all of our minds... And introduce like Amazonian women warriors. How sweet would that be? First women fighters. And I don't know. I don't know if there's any other way. Maybe like female crusaders. That could kind of be cool. I could see that. We're running a little bit low on medical supplies. Because we're getting chewed up. Um, Let's sell, sell, sell. But yeah, I thought that was a cool idea. Let me know if you think that's a... That's a possibility. Maybe I kind of guessed something. Or maybe not. Maybe I just, I'm drinking the hype Kool-Aid. Uh, but I could totally see that. I could totally see it. Women warriors. Uh, I talked about cavalry a few times. I think that was something that was uh, a possibility. Perhaps. We've had a few discussions in the comment sections on whether or not that's a, like a real possibility. And I do think it is. There we go. Looking for someone that I could give these bandages to. Did anyone level and I just didn't notice? No. Okay. We're going to take this escort mission. Because I was, as much as I want to go and do the ear jock thing, um, let's go and see if we can't get into this war before it's over. Maybe some time has passed. Maybe Finsterwaller has uh, gotten a new contract. Maybe we could do a siege or something like that. That would be fun. There's big footprints all around us, and we are still quite hurt. Just check. Some injuries. We can deal with injuries as long as our armor and stuff is in good condition. Yeah, I guess, I guess all I'm trying to say is that I want them to have a bigger vision for what Battle Brothers could be. And that maybe after that, the success... Will come with it. Oh my god. That looked like two large groups to me. And all we have is probably caravan hands. Oh no. This is not good. They're not going to help us at all. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not helping us. Do we take this fight or do we try and run? I mean, it's a little, perhaps a little late now. Look at all the footmen. 
We had to walk right by. In order for that to happen. Man, it really depends on what the rest of these dudes are. When in doubt, banner out. That's, they're probably going to have a million billmen. Pole hammers. Bail hooks. Alright. Let's do it. Get dangerous. Darkwing Duck style. We're not going to advance into high ground footmen. That's nonsense. It might be better in some instances to leave. Hmm. Go here. Okay, we got him. It might be better in some instances to leave us with our ranged units in hand, or our ranged uh, weaponry in hand, because once they close the distance, we can just shoot them point blank. They've got our blisters that are going to be mostly ineffective because they're shooting at night. Look at this battle. I don't think we win this, guys, but we'll try. I don't even know how we reload this either, because we're kind of stuck as part of this. We would just have to reload and retreat. But I will try. I can step in here, but then I'm going to get caught out by all these bill hooks. Yeah, let's wait. And they are absolute cowards. If they just came and like held my flank for me, two of them here, two of them here, I might be able to grind them out in the center. I need them not to get lucky with their arbalisters too. Okay. Like that. Serious damage on those. We could have shield wall at the end of our last turn. But I feel like I'm going to need my fatigue. I'm going to take those 45s. Yeah, I'm a little worried about Blowers here. Yeah, don't stun me, please. If they don't stun me, Ossimandias can probably start chewing them up. Maybe get into the back line. We just need kills. We need to freak them out. Killing the standard bearer would also be legit. Alright, they gave me a full surround here. Reach advantage will start kicking in. We don't have Lone Wolf, sadly. Okay, Damocles. You gotta do big work too, man. Yeah, Blowers is in trouble, I think. They've got multiple standard bears. Of course they do. We needed to hit one of those, and we didn't. Their shield walls are going to ruin us. We're going to step in so we can get onto the Billman. Otherwise, someone else will probably just fill in the blanks. Perfect. And just like that, you'll see a little bit of a shockwave go through them. As they start to doubt their life choices. Come on, Aussie. Hang in there, buddy. Alright, let's do it. 64. We hit all of them. Hell yeah. So, how could this go wrong? We are going to Indomitable here. It might prevent us from being able to do another round swing next turn. But there's a good chance they go for the stun. And if he gets stunned, I mean, that's a whole turn wasted. I'd rather be able to kill one of these guys with a nice chop. Okay, we got a round swing developed on Damocles now. I'm a little worried about how open Dwinbar is, but I think if they're shooting at him, we might just be okay. The chances should be low. Like in the low 20s. I mean, that's about as good as I can hope for. Please come and fight, you absolute D-bags. This is your stuff. Flowers is so, so screwed. I need to just raise his shield this turn. And probably raise uh, Eastwood shield as well. Yeah, 
Damn, very little chance on a lot of these guys. That worked. No, he pushed me out of that. That was a perfect surround. Damn. Okay. Shoot into the mix. Don't kill me, bro. Damn, he stunned him. So, Flowers is in rough shape. If he hadn't have stunned me, I'd be able to defend myself. That was a 72 miss. We can rotate him out. Oh, actually, we can't because he's stunned, as we have learned. Just overwhelming. We, I mean, I shouldn't have attacked with him last turn. I should have shield wall with both of them. I should have recognized that I needed to be more defensive. Doesn't say whether he's dead. Let me see. Billman has killed him. So I guess he is dead. Damn. I feel screwed because we're locked into this horrible battle. And we've missed this guy three times now. Time for the bill hook. Yeah, this is not ever a fight that I honestly would have tried to take. Okay, that's that's all I need to see. Let's, um... We'll reload from the autosave. I gave it the old college try. That was not a thing we could win. It sucks because we're going to have to abandon that mission. The merchant who hired you lies dead at your feet. He is not exactly face down, for that part of him no longer exists. Blood flows across the ground in spurts as you can't help but stare at the summation of your failure. One of your men spots a twitch, but you know better. Nothing can be done. The rest of the caravan is in even worse shape. There is no point in staying here. Darn it. Yeah. So, one, one at a time, I could deal with those guys. But not both. They want me to kill greenskins? No thank you. And they want us to... No, 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 no. They want us to hang out here and defend them from raiders, which I would happily do if there weren't two groups of other guys that we'll have to fight. So we need to just get the heck out of here. I was trying to go to Fensterwaller. I want to get involved with something a bit larger. I was thinking maybe there's a chance we could circle around and catch one of them alone. Dang, and this big company... Came Where were you a minute ago, man? We could roll with them and see where they go. If they go to attack something huge, are they just patrolling? 7 barbarians. Okay. We'll fall back. I don't want to get involved with that. That's going to take forever. Okay, let's go back over here. You know what? Let's go to Fensterwaller. Hopefully they have some kind of major contract. If they don't, the nearest place is Erdfall. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get something done here. Oh, they want us to fight Scrat. Uh, that's a that's a no good, buddy. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a no. Um Scrat are horrifically dangerous. Could we beat a small group of them? Yes. Could we beat like two or three? Yes. Osbit has a infected wound. But we can't... We couldn't beat like five of them without losing someone. Just about guaranteed. It's pure luck. The higher the numbers go on Scrat, the more luck it is. Man, these guys are clearing stuff out.
Okay. Can we pull them into these guys? Because I would be all about doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Get in there. Wow, they're losing rapidly. Oh, no. They must be injured. But either way, they'll act as a good distraction as we try and close the distance. They'll take the Arbalister fire. Get in there. Alright, we can see some of them now. We got a direction. Here, war dogs getting butchered. Ow. Man, I wish we could pick up our dead allies' armor and stuff. That would be excellent. We've got an infected wound on him. Um, we'll probably put him in the bushes. I don't think we need him. As long as we have these other guys as a distraction. I think we're A-OK. -okay. Try and get the shield bros in the front. Okay. One of the main reasons we're coming to fight this is because I'd love to get another heavy crossbow. That's a big deal for me. I'd love to get a few more, actually. Come up here. Can I steal that kill? Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, I'm getting greedy. Uh, but getting one of those crossbows would make this whole thing worth it for me. I've got two to choose from, so I probably don't need to be too greedy. Because our side is losing men. A lot of men. A lot. They've lost four so far. Okay, did not mean to do that. That was not a good move. Alright, we closed the distance. That was step number one. There we go, just like that. We're now the proud owners of a sick crossbow. A very expensive sick crossbow. Like, uh, like 4K. We want this one too, though. I want to have a backup. So the knight was still alive, Sir Roderick. I thought he had died. He could probably solo these dudes. He's got the fighting axe we want, but we can't, of course. We can't turn on him. You guys ever watch The Office? One of my favorite quotes from The Office that my wife and I quote all the time. It's Kevin. When he, he says, you can't, you can't eat cats, Kevin. You can't, you can't eat cats. Like he's trying to convince himself that you can't eat cats. So funny. Did we get it? We did. So we picked up two in this battle. That's huge. We exposed uh, Dwinbar, but he's at full health. I'm okay with that. It's not the prettiest advance. There's probably nothing else over here that we need. There's no sergeant that's going to have some tier 3 weapon. It's just going to be a bunch of... Uh, eminently sellable stuff. Certainly. But nothing that we need. Not like those crossbows. Those were huge pickups. They've stunned him. And coming in from behind here, Alci Mandy is a little out of position as usual, sadly. Can't eat cats, Kevin. Beware of anyone who has to repeatedly tell themselves that you can't eat cats. There's another one. Wow, I don't know if I need to hold on to quite that many. Because we it's not like we're going to get 20 plus brothers. If we were playing the peasant origin uh you got to get as much gear as you can you got to be swimming in gear and every you know heavy crossbow that you can get 
saves you so much. You might have seven, you might have six, probably is probably a more rational number. Uh, six crossbowmen in your group of 24. And getting them all equipped, like getting three of them in one battle. Go for an aim shot, 95%. Boom. Put a little bit of fear in him, pierce his chest. He's got a nearby leader. Oh, he's got the standard bear. Okay. Awesome. We routed him. You guys need to be happy as hell that I showed up. Because y'all were going to get wrecked. See, they've got a sergeant with a military cleaver. Put a hit on him. You can't eat cats, Kevin. Damn you. I thought we were clear with that. I thought we were going to get that one. Well, that sucks. I was really hoping to get that one. I just want the bill hooks. The bill hooks are a nice payday for us. Who is that? That was another Arblister. I think he had a standard, like, tier 2 crossbow. Either way, let's stay on this high ground. Shoot into there. Hope you get lucky. Aim shot, 78%. Nailed it. Do we get a third one? We do. We're getting paid in crossbows. I'd be curious to know, what's your favorite, uh, office character quote? There's so many. Or Parks and Rec. That's a show I never really got into too much myself, but I still enjoy going and watching, like, the best of clips. Because there's so many amazing one-liners. And the knight take both those kills? You absolute jerk. Not mean to pass there, but that's okay. We'll get another chance to move. It surrounds. Can I get up? Nope. Up here. Brush. They're going to take that kill 1000%. Never doubt it. Okay, haven't taken it yet. Gotta get down here. Okay, went for Lothar. Didn't get him. Full surround. Still didn't hit him. And let's go ahead and switch out. Kind of cut these guys off at the pass. Yo, Knight. Check that out. I've got rotation, bruh. And you can't get in. Okay, he's using recover. Step in there. One good shot. Dang. No luck. Alright, let's stop using ammo. There's three left. Okay, there's another footman up there. My wife's favorite office quote is uh she says if I can't if I can't go scuba diving, what's it's all been about? That's her favorite quote. And they took the kill. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
So many good life quotes. Down they go. And that'll be it for this fight. We'll just end our round. And sit back and chill. It's over. Good little fight. Sometimes it pays to follow the really strong groups. They can let you take fights you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Which is why I was trying to lead those unhold into that big reaver encampment. But what a great series of pickups for us. Boom. Now we're rocking full range superiority here. Two war bows. Three heavy crossbows. I'm going to repair those. Swimming and bill hooks we don't need. And we got a level on Gustav. Alright, Gustav. Um, what did we decide for him? He is going to be a dodge bro. So let's just go ahead and get him nimble right now. Um, he would also benefit from Berserk and Rotation. Let's just lock in his defensive abilities. Take a four in initiative. Keep that high. Hate to see an infected wound. Um, but let's keep going towards uh, Erdfall. And just while we're here, let's get up on this mountain and see what we can see. Let's go take this fight. Some Orc Berserkers? That sounds like a fun one. There's some dead guys there, so maybe it's not so fun. It's a small group. Whoa. Mini Orc Young? I'll take them. I wish it was daytime. It favors us. I'm probably just going to either jump Ossimandius out front as much as he can, or just pull him into the fold. Let's wait for them to come in. Pass, pass. We'll step up here. And I'll let them jump in here and try and stun me if they want. Or I'll just bring Ozymandias in. Yeah, and I think I will. I wish Ozbit wasn't the one that was on point here just because of his infection. Man, it only takes one. Yeah. Those hits are so devastating against unarmored opponents. Get up here on this high ground. Probably going to take him an entire other turn to get in close the gap. Let's get on the high ground here, too. I could rotate him back. But I kind of like this. We'll just probably just jump out with Damocles. They're all going south. Yeah, I'll see Mandius. Gotta use Indomitable with him whenever I can. Wait here. I'll just keep on jumping in. Spread some love. Okay, we're getting wrecked a little bit here. But we've got a, like a full surround situation going off. Which you love to see. Berserk's going to give us that extra shot. And I'm not going to close the distance here, although it gives them an opportunity to charge me. There's still quite a few of them that can charge. Much more worried about Berserkers doing that, because the weaponry they use is so much scarier. Alright, Charles. Pull that out. These weapons are quite scary, though. I mean, these choppers, especially when they're using them in one hand. Getting that bonus. We'll step in here, not because we can do any damage, but just to add to the, to the surround. Oh, 
Osbit still doing a lot of work, despite his handicaps right now. And we used Adrenaline on Blowers, so that he'll be able to probably pop this Orc before he gets a chance to go. And down he goes. And that's it. They've had enough. Nice and easy. Easy, easy fight. And for our trouble, several hundred crowns. Probably a full day's pay. And I think we should still come here. You know, let's fall back. Let's wait until daytime. We have some infections. We have some problems. We might as well heal now. Repair now. Go in during daytime because we're going to need rain superiority to keep these berserkers off of us. It's not a lot. Those hunters probably came from that location. Yeah, only four berserkers. I don't like that they just like automatically gave them some high ground. That feels kind of bad. Not gave it to them, but they took it. They got it turn one. It's going to make us slightly more inaccurate. But it didn't matter ultimately. Those two misses hurt though. This guy should be real soft or almost dead and he's just not. We're going to shield wall despite what I know, which is that when they charge in, the shield wall won't matter. Uh, they'll stun him, probably, and knock down the shield wall. But this is actually kind of tricky because what, they, what I've done here is I've hidden him in the bush. So they might try to jump in, but they won't be able to get past Lothar because of his hidden status. Can I go one more? No. That's indomitable. He's a bit of bait right now. Alright, see where they move. Comes the charge. Yep. And he got locked in. Probably was expecting to be able to charge. Should not expect to win a fight versus Berserkers through morale. Just not super likely. We'll jump in. Get Damocles up there. I like this four man surround here. Yeah, and we broke him. Perfect. No reason to shoot anymore. I think we played that well. Get an even bigger surround. Go for a shot here. We've got to get rid of this dude's armor. And I'm going to Indomitable again just to take less HP damage. Because I feel like he's going to hit me. Oh, he tried to run! Man, you didn't look at Ultimanus' stats. He had no chance. Um, let's move down to support. This is the only real fight that matters right now. Yep, couldn't even hit me. Great. He's now headless. Put a little damage on him. 75% from downtown. Man, still nothing amazing. But more, more crowns. More crowns for the crown god. And very, very weird direction this episode has taken. I kind of apologize for it, because I had a bit of focus in the beginning on something that I wanted to do, and we just didn't get there. Another sweet orc weapon. I don't know if we've seen this one yet. It's the Berserk Chain, which gives you Pound. Pounding the target into the ground with the chain and striking head. Somewhat unpredictable, but able to strike over or around shield cover with a bit of luck. A target hit with enough force may be stunned for one turn. So it's considered a flail. Has a 30% chance to stun and ignores the bonus to melee defense granted by shields and then Thresh, which I think does all enemies, has a 20% chance to stun. Threshing all the targets around you, foe and friend alike with a reckless round swing. Not hard to evade. Uh, it has a minus 15% chance to hit. But very strong attacks. Very cool weapon to try and make use of. Uh, but I was trying to head to Erdfall. Got a little detoured. 
but I think the detour was worth it. Anytime I get to kill orcs, it's a good day. I'm hoping to do some shenanigans around here before the war is over. Make hay while the sun is out, isn't that a saying? I don't know who says that. It sounds like something the Amish say. First, I'll slip company. Only six guys. They have one of each. <laughs> they will probably not last very long against whatever they're fighting. But you've got to uh, applaud their bravery. Okay. Taxidermist is something that I wanted to see because we do have new stuff. The Unhold Fur Cloak. It looks amazing. This is more resilient against ranged weapons. I thought there was something else, too, that we could do with this. Is the fur padding? Do you need regular Unhold Hide, too? I think we might not have enough. But Unhold Fur Cloak. Let's craft one of those. They look sick. We're going to make one. A thick cloak made out of the frost unholds majestic white fur can be worn atop any armor to make the wearer more resilient against ranged weapons. Let's take it. And we can look at it. Reduces any range damage to the body by 20%. So, it's it's more decorative in my mind. I would put it on a front rank bro who has perhaps really low range defense. Or on someone like uh, Osbit here. He has like no range defense. And he stands in the front line uh, with his no shield cover. Right? So it's pretty scary for him. See what the prices are like here. Hopefully good. Probably not. No, they're awful. I'm going to sell the really junky stuff on principle. Everything else I'm going to hold on to. We could use some food. The food's actually cheap. The prices here to buy are not bad. And they have a weaponsmith. Hopefully that carries over. Oh, man. A fighting axe and a winged mace. Both the things I said I wanted. Let's see what this contract is. I'm all ears. Go to the cemetery. Alright, so it's fighting undead. You know what? Do we do this? Yeah, I mean, a quest is a quest, I suppose. I don't want to sell anything here that's expensive. We'll just hold on to everything until we get a chance to go to a better place. But I am tempted, however, to pick up uh, a winged mace. Or perhaps even just grab this fighting axe right now. Hmm. They are so dang expensive, though. And there's even a warhammer here, too. Which I would also like to get. I'm going to grab the winged mace. Normally I never buy those because normally I get them. Uh, but I haven't really gotten any of them yet. I haven't seen too many brigand leaders and things like that. The guys who normally carry them. And where is this place located? This will probably be the last fight of the day. It's kind of dangerously close to Adlerfest. If we stayed on the road, no doubt we would see some things perhaps worth fighting. I don't like that it's nighttime. We could just as easily run into like a 24 stack. No, nobody. Okay. I was hoping perhaps a, a caravan would come through. Tomb of Sir Hilmar. This will be the last one of the day, guys. My wife is actually... Oh, let me read this first. Oh, they want to give me a map. Huh. They are... It's actually humans. Which I wasn't expecting. I don't need the map. The map is going to give me a location to a feigned piece of treasure that's probably so far away it'll take me forever to get to it. Whereas this gives me a chance to attack a guy like him who's got a great archer helmet, a decent set of frontline armor, or actually a decent set of probably like crossbowman armor. And I mean, there, nothing else really. Maybe we'll find some sort of famed item. You never know. Man, I had a feeling I should have just went for the aimed shot. 
But like Smash Mouth says, you never know if you don't go. And you never shine if you don't glow. Words to live by. See if I can get this dude. We hit him. Almost killed him. Wrecked her. Damn near killed her. Okay. Still sadly infected. I'm gonna try and get this guy's armor as a bit of fun. I don't know how much we need it, but it would be great on, you know, some backline guys. So once we kill off a couple of these uh, peripheral dudes, we'll surround them with our... Oh wow, we can step in and attack? Okay, not worth. I'll take that. Wing Mace, hitting them pretty hard. Yeah, we'll step in with our knives. Tai Chi doing work. I expect him to hold back until a few more dudes are dead. I'm hoping one of these guys will step in here and give me a full surround. Okay. The 46. Okay. Alright. Everything's going according to plan, y'all. Banner out. Dang. Do I go ahead and switch now though? I don't like I don't like this uh, little setup they've got for us here. This this kind of low ground position stuff is very weird. I don't like it. Can't believe the heavy crossbow didn't finish him. Take this 73. Perfect. Okay. We're going to take the kill. Ooh, he's falling back a little bit. Perhaps just to protect the archer. Cover his retreat. I'm a little worried. I left a few guys exposed. But not too bad. And not against very powerful weapons. I mean, they're tier 1 archers. For goodness sake. Ooh, javelin tosses. Trying to go for Barney there, it looked like. Okay, military pick. Surprisingly good at almost every stage of the game. Very curious what he's doing. Oh, I didn't mean to pass there. I got a, I got an itchy trigger finger. They don't make any ointment for it. I got my thumb on space bar. Kind of waiting. Great hit. Okay, can we switch? We can't. So next turn, we're going to take everybody and go... Full dagger mode. Can we switch? Yes. I don't like... Man, if he steps in here, we don't have a surround. This is really bad, actually. I would very much like to get Lothar out of the position that I just put him in. And somehow we just whiffed. And 83. Let's step. We need four skill points, or uh, action points rather, I believe. Okay. This is awkward. We're going to try and back away from him. He's going to step in. Oh, he pushed us even better. All right, so now we actually can get a real surround. That's all I cared about.
get our daggers out in a second. Perfect. Nailed it. Dagger out. Want to get rid of him first. So we're just taking this as a personal challenge, as I've said. There's really not that much value to his armor. It's kind of an expensive piece. Yeah, I'm just going to come over here with our dagger. Let Ossimandius take that. We could attack him. I don't want to I don't want to do that either though. Go around. We're going to take a little bit of kind of goofy punishment. Because he is on the high ground, he is a strong guy. Uh, but eventually he'll get tired. And we'll start to land big hits like that. Switch it up. Okay, perfect. It'll be even better once he starts to want to run away. Almost done. We gotta get this guy down. I need to get a full surround so he can't run away, and then it's just a matter of time. So I could put, uh, like, Barney up here, for instance. But he's not running yet. So there's no, there's no actual, like, need. No hurry. Alright, see what he can do. Alright. Step down here. The hope is that we don't even need to, like, overthink this. That we just land a couple of these punctures. And then we're good to go. So we just want to get Osbit in there now. Almost. Yeah, like a hit there would have just kind of sealed this. Down he goes. And I think just to guarantee he doesn't run, we'll put him here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Perfect. And we will certainly run him down. And now let's steal his stuff. Who's the bandit now? Nine lives is going to trigger. Got to kill him twice. Why, it's definitely always better to wait until they're the last ones on the field to try and do this. And we'll get him this turn. A lot of people need to rest. It takes more uh, fatigue use puncture. We can actually look at it. 4 AP and 20 fatigue versus 4 AP and 7 fatigue. And it has a minus 15% chance to hit, but it does completely ignore armor, which is everything you want it to do. And down he goes. Was it worth it? We got the armor. Leather scale armor. Slightly better than what we're using, and we got his helmet, which is also cool. But no famed things from the location. To be expected. But guys, that's going to be it for me today. Let's go ahead and give someone that armor. And let's give that here to Dwinbar Ulferson. The ugliest, the ugliest man alive. And we'll give Jacob the closed mail coif. He's just fully encased in mail now. 
That actually looks pretty sick. I wouldn't want to fight somebody who looked like that. And anything else? I don't want to switch these guys up to kite shields too while I was thinking about it. But that's it, guys. I don't see anything else I need to do except maybe perhaps repair. Repair these arming swords. They're pretty expensive too. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Like, and I didn't even kind of do what I meant to do there. Talking about what they could have done... What kind of set pieces they could add to a battle like a bandit camp? I'm curious to see. And I'm reserving judgment. I think there's a possibility that it could look cluttered because they're including uh, weird, like, destructible terrain with stuff that... Or, not destructible, but weird indestructible terrain with stuff that's, like, impassable. And it looks like, even from the pictures, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. We are 100% going to attack this in the next episode. Guys, I'm Brett. Good talk gaming, and as always, y'all, I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.